Hello angels, this is Miss Quiet Queen. Welcome back once again to my channel. Appreciate you guys watching and tuning in. Well, I'm going to try and do a really quick, brief video. Um, I get a lot of questions about astral traveling. And I've done videos on astral traveling before, but I keep getting a lot of questions about it. A lot of emails and messages. So I thought... I'll <clears throat> share with you something that I recently discovered that works for me. Now, many of you know that I'm not a big believer in self-induced astral traveling. When you lie down and you go into a trance and you try to leave your body. Because it's easier for um, evil entities to come in, take over your body. Or you can, you can open up a gate um, for... Um, them to come in and it's just dangerous if you you got to really really know what you're doing when you do self induced um, astral traveling and a lot of people disagree with me and we can agree to disagree I'm not going to do it and I would appreciate it if nobody else does it unless they really are sure and even then it's hard <clears throat> to say that you're not leaving a doorway open for someone the best way is to allow your aretic self, your higher self, your and your spirit guides to come down to your plane. On these, you have to be on a certain frequency when you go to sleep, and um, they can come and you know enchant you, and if that makes sense, um, and bring you to that plane, uh, and you can soul travel. Um, where it feels like you're flying uh, and I'm going to show you tell you about a um, a method that is foolproof it's um, it's easy and it works I promise you it does work I've tried it I'm not going to come out here and tell you about it if I hadn't tried it and I, I, I try and I do it all the time but I do want to say a couple of things before I tell you how to do it and I want you all to try this and tell me what happens Make sure you keep a journal and jot everything down. First of all, I want to tell you a few other things. First, um, soul traveling. Okay. Your soul, when you feel like you're flying, you're really not flying. Actually, to be honest with you, you're not flying and you feel like your soul is trying flying. Actually, is awareness. Soul is being aware. You're just coming into awareness of something. You're not really moving. Your soul isn't really moving. It's just that there's there is a um, an energy that is being fed to you from the um, the source, the um, the source of love, um, where you come from, where we are all created, the all that energy, God, Mother, Father, God, Goddess whatever name you put on it that creation love is the highest level of energy and that's where we all come from we're all connected even people who aren't that good we all come from that source okay so you are becoming aware when you feel like you're flying you're just your soul is just becoming aware you're you're connected or connecting to your erythic being and or that source of all Okay, so let me get just get that out there. Um, also, before you astral travel, before you do this, I I I think the best way to do it is when you're going to sleep. I mean, if you want to lie down and try to put yourself in a trance, that's that's on you. That's my disclaimer. I I just don't like that way. You know, it's just I. Other than saying that it's dangerous and, you know, entities can come in, it's just something about it. You ever had a feeling that, I, that just don't sit well with me. And self-induced um, astral travel don't sit well with me. And I was screaming to the rooftops. And I know a lot of YouTubers who um, put up the same videos that I do. Many of them disagree with me because many of them said that they disagree with me. And that's okay. We can all agree, disagree, agree to disagree. <clears throat> but that's... That doesn't matter. Um, what you need to do first. Well, I was going to say that I believe in sleep and astral traveling 
um, while you're sleeping. You know, it's safer that way um, because sleep is, nece is necessary and something that you're going to do anyway. All right, so first thing you need to do is you need to pray. No, I take that back. First thing you need to do is believe. Now, the astral realm is the magical realm. If you don't believe in yourself, it's not going to work. You have to believe. Have you heard that saying, anything that you can think, it can be created? Anything at all. Imagine anything in this world right now. While you're looking at my video, create an animal. Does your animal have a head? Create your animal with a head and a nose up here. And horns down here. And green. And he can talk. And say your name. Create anything. Right now. Think about something that's off the wall. Something that you have never seen on this plane. Think about it right now. Anything at all. You got it in your head? Think about it enough. And you have just created it on the astral realm. Anything that you can think of, anything that you can create with your mind right now, being the same person, anything that you can think, you have just created it. You just put the seed out there. Okay? It can come into fruition into the world that you're living, that you're in right now, if you keep on thinking about it and thinking about it. It can happen. Yeah, it really can. Um, I've, I've done it many times. I'm going to do a video on the things that I uh, created and brought it to physical life. Yeah, If I don't do it for a while, y'all remind me. But it, it I promise you it happens. It works. It really does. So whatever it was that you just thought about, you just created. You just put the seed out there. But you have to believe. You have to believe in it. If there's an inkling of doubt in you it will not work okay you have to want it you have to feel it you have to I know this is right just like you know what your name is your name is John right well somebody said your name is not John you know I know my name I know so just like you know your name know that this will work okay so say a prayer and believe Believe that this will work. Also, um, you need to protect where you sleep. All right, there's a couple of things that I want you to do. If you can stand ammonia, get a, um, some ammonia and put it in a saucer and put it outside your bedroom door. Okay, if you're living with someone, I don't know how that works, but you can figure it out. And or put it outside your window if you live on the bottom floor or if you're able to do that. Ammonia, I'm told, was um, if entities and if evil entities and energies and spirits and things can feel pain, ammonia helps them to feel pain. They don't like the scent of ammonia on, on the erythic level. They don't like it. It hurts. It hurts them. And I know this to be true because dream jumpers, those are people who like to jump in and out of your dreams uninvited and to hurt you and harm you. I've had that happen to me recently. I mean, but sometimes I slip up and I forget to do my protection rights and things like that. Pay attention to the dates that this happens when people jump into your dreams. I'm going to get into what I, the astral traveling in just a minute. But I'm being led to talk about this because of dream jumpers. Some of you have problems with this. And I want to prove to you that this what I'm talking about, the ammonia, works. When you, you, if you pay attention to the dates that things happen to you, the dates and the times. I did a video on your spiritual days, your physical days, and your emotional days. Your spiritual angel, your physical angel, and your emotional angel. All these days tie into you personally. So sometimes... People that are dream jump, they find out things about you and they know when your personal day is or your spiritual day is. And they like to jump into your dreams on that day because there's a portal. If, they, if they're on the right frequency and you ha being um, the spiritual person you are, they can jump into your dreams. And I noticed that when I use the ammonia 
or have that scent on me some kind of way, um, it doesn't happen, you know, or I have a dream about that person and it, they're in pain or they're going through something. It's like I'm watching them. So use your um, plate of ammonia when you can. Okay, um, make sure there are no children around um, that can get in it. All right. Also, what helps is if you put salt around your bed. I don't have any more sea salt, but I do have a couple of things I want to show you. This is um, kosher salt, and it's just, you see, ooh, it's just heavy salt. It, you know, it's um, that kosher, thick kosher salt. So, I'm going to put it back in the box. What? Okay, so there's that. And also, the best salt that I found was pink salt. This is Himalaya salt. It is actually from the Himalayas. From the mountains of the Himalayas. It is pink. And it's potent. I've had this for three years. But I have to admit, it, it costs $15. So that's quite expensive. So, um, yeah, you can get your salt and put it around your bed or under your pillow. And I know some of you may have your bed up against a wall and you can't, you know, put salt all the way around the diameter, diameter of the bed. So just put it halfway around. I hate when my phone starts to ring. Um, or, yeah, so that's that um so make sure you protect yourself that way also um here's what you need to do after you protect yourself and pray you have to create you need to create an one word affirmation oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry one sentence incantation or one sentence that you can remember that involves your name. Okay? Because you know your higher self goes by the same name as you do. You know, you have the same true name. You have the same semi name. You have the same government name. Okay? So create a one sentence incantation that involves your name and what your intentions are. For example. If your name is, say, Lisa Danielle, I'm just pulling the name off the top of my head. I don't know Lisa Danielle, but maybe you do. You can say something like, Lisa D, Lisa D, higher self of me, take me up, take me up, I want to see. That's something easy for you to remember. Just something simple and easy for you to remember. You don't have to use those exact words. You can use something. But whatever words you use, make sure you say your name. Because you're talking to your higher self. You're talking to you on the rethic level. Okay? So, when Lisa says this, Lisa and Danielle, when she says, Lisa D, Lisa D, higher self of me, take me up, take me up, please let me see. And... You say that with the feeling of going up and traveling. And when you travel, have a destination of where you want to go. Maybe you want to go to Africa. Maybe you want to go to Paris. Maybe you want to go to your grandma's house. Maybe you want to see your father's grave. Whatever. Have, have a destination of where you want to go before you start. And all automatically feel like you're leaving your body. Just feel like you're pushing yourself out as you're falling asleep. Do this while you're falling asleep. Now, there's a lot of things you need to do at the same time because you have to multitask. So, while you when you when you say this one sentence incantation, you start running. You're running. You're running, 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 and then you jump. And then after you jump up, you say it again, Lisa D, Lisa D, higher self of me, take me up, take me up, please let me see. And then you run, 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 and then jump up. Lisa D, Lisa D, higher self of me, take me up, take me up, please let me see. And you run, 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 and jump up. Keep doing that over and over and over and over again until you fall asleep. 
don't get upset if it don't happen the first night. Because if it doesn't, I can I can bet you every dime in my pocket that it's because you have some type of doubt. Or you're like, oh, I hope this works. You can't say that. You can't say, I hope this works. Like, I'm going to astral travel. I'm going to do this. Okay? So, and also remember that there's no time on other realms. Okay? Only time exists here. You know, we're the only one that measure time. You know, so by the time... Your wishes get to the wreathic level. By the time you create enough frequency, enough positive frequency to get there, it could be next week. But on that realm, it's just a few minutes. Does that make sense? So keep trying over and over again. And that's foolproof. I'm telling you, it works. I've done it so many times. And it works. So if you have any questions... Let me know, inbox, go ahead and share this um, video and uh, let me know how it works out for you. Thank you so much for watching, angels. Till next time, stay in the light.